you are in need of some decluttering motivation, then just keep on watching because you've come to the right place. That's what this video is all about. We were on vacation for a couple of weeks. We just got back a couple of days ago and then we got sick. So <laughs> thankfully we're on the mend now. I'm feeling a lot better, but we also have family coming over tomorrow. They are going to be staying with us for a bit. That being said, I have a lot to get done around the house. I'm gonna do a full house declutter today, but I'm gonna pay special attention to storage areas such as our pantry, kitchen cupboards, laundry room, those areas that kind of just become a catch-all area. But here's the kicker. I'm only gonna give myself two hours to declutter my entire house because truthfully, that's all the time that I have today. My baby is napping. I'm just going to put on some music and get busy. Really hoping I get a lot done. Stay tuned to the end of this video and see if I accomplish my goal. <laughs> I have high hopes, but we'll see. I will also be sharing an exciting art update announcement. I have some new products that are coming out today, so you'll want to stay tuned to that, and I'll also be sharing a discount code for you guys to use, so stay tuned. That will be coming later on in this video. Right now, I am ready to get started. I hope you find this video encouraging and motivating. I will also be sharing six tips throughout this video, tips that I use when I'm decluttering. Hopefully those are helpful for you. Right now, I would love it so much if you go ahead and comment some of your favorite tips or best practices when you are decluttering. I'm sure other people who watch this video will like to go through and read your comments. I'm gonna go ahead and set a two hour timer and let's get started. I did not wear these shoes at all this past fall because I did get a different pair. They're still in great condition. I thought maybe I would hang on to them and maybe I would use them for like if I need them to get dirty or something like that. But I'm going to think I'm gonna keep them for now. I might try and pass them along though. We'll see. As I mentioned, I'm going to be sharing some of my tips and best practices for decluttering. These are very simple, very easy to implement, but I found that they really, really help me when I'm decluttering my home. First is one I've kind of already touched on is to set a timer. Even if it's just 15 or 30 minutes, I find that this really, really helps to prevent burnout. As I already showed you, I'm setting a two hour timer for today. That's the time that I have on hand. And I know that when that timer is up, I'm done. There is an end time so that I know at this point, I will be finished with this project. Whatever I get done, I get done. And whatever isn't done is for another day. This really helps me to declutter in a realistic way that is not super stressful or overwhelming. Sometimes I will just set a 20 minute timer and I'll just focus on one room or even one drawer. And I have found that this is really, really helpful. So this is what I have removed from that closet. I have this coat that I recently got a different one that I wear a lot more. And this hat, same thing, I got a new one. So I don't need this one. This one I had for so, so long. So I'm gonna donate those, a couple of hangers that we don't need in there, as well as our baby wrap. I'm going to keep this in the nursery because I don't need it in this closet here. And then also my husband's gi for Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I'm gonna put this up in our closet. And then all of the reusable grocery bags that I need to put in my car. So this is definitely looking a lot better, a lot more organized. It's amazing how just taking away a few items can just make the space feel so much better. All right, so under this coffee table, we have these baskets that we obviously store items in. This one, it pretty much stays empty. This is kind of my take-in, take-out basket. I will put library books in here if they need to be returned, things like that. So it's pretty much empty, but there are a few things I think that we were using for our vehicles. So I'm gonna put these in the garage. All right, next up, I'm gonna tackle our pantry. 
I don't think this one will be too bad because I did kind of go through here like a few months ago, but I still think we'll find some things to declutter. These bins are where I keep like party supplies or like some hostess things, but I don't think I've ever gone through these bins, so I'm gonna do that now. Another tip I like to keep in mind is when I'm decluttering, I am focused on decluttering. In other words, I'm not cleaning, I'm not necessarily organizing perfectly. There might be some organization involved, like rearranging some items, but overall I'm focused on getting rid of items. Sometimes this is hard for me because I really want to clean something while I am working in that area, but I've realized that I can get a lot more done if I just focus on decluttering and then save the cleaning for either later that day or for a different day altogether. So I'm not reorganizing, I'm just tidying some things up that I see are just kind of all over the place to make some more room. Another day I will probably go through and reorganize everything, but not today. Okay, this is a random bin of baking stuff that I don't keep in my pantry, so I think, or that I don't keep in my baking cupboard in the kitchen, so I think I'm just going to transfer this all into a bigger bin. Another system that I've found to be helpful is to have three baskets. I call this my three basket system. So when I'm decluttering, I have a donation basket of things that I'm getting rid of to donate, things that are still working well, but just aren't functioning well in our home. I will also have a trash basket or more like a trash bag that I will toss items into that are broken or even just trash that I find lying around the house as I'm decluttering. And then my third basket is things that I am going to either keep or just need to be relocated to somewhere else in the house. These are not necessarily literal baskets. Like I said, I use the trash bag. I will have a basket or more like a bin or even a cardboard box for decluttering items. But often when I'm decluttering, it's more like piles. I will have a pile of things to be relocated, a pile of things to donate, and then maybe later I will put them into their bin or a bag or something to move them. All right, this is what we are left with. These are just some party supplies that I don't use. They're like old napkins that I can get rid of. I had three things of sprinkles, so I'm going to um, get rid of these ones, as well as these cups. We have so many plastic cups, we don't need all of those. This is trash, it was empty. And then just some coffee items that we don't use. We got this uh, mini coffee pot for hosting, but it was way too small. It literally makes one cup of coffee. So we actually got this one as the big one I actually grabbed from the thrift store. It was like $12. Definitely a great buy. And then this bin, I don't need anymore, so I'm going to donate this. Along with this table runner, since we have our new tablecloth, we don't use that one anymore. All right, I'm moving on to the kitchen. I don't think there will be too much here because I did declutter the kitchen a couple months ago, but I find there's still always things to get rid of. So I'm gonna just work my way through all of the cabinets. We're doing pretty good on time, so let's keep on rolling. Really quickly, I will just mention too, I find it so helpful to put on a slow cooker meal when I'm doing decluttering or like a longer project in a day. I have some chicken stew cooking and it will be ready to go at dinner time. That way I don't even need to worry about it. I can just focus on the task at hand. This cupboard I went through recently, I do use everything in here, so I'm going to just leave it. It's looking good. Same thing with this cupboard. I did actually reorganize this a little bit a couple weeks ago and added some more canisters with labels up top. I think the only thing that I can get rid of here are these placemats because we have a tablecloth that's wipeable, so placemats we just don't use anymore. 
This cupboard is also still looking good. I reorganized this a few weeks ago. If you haven't checked out that pantry reorganization video, I will link that here. Don't need to do anything in that cupboard. And again, this is all just snacks. It could use some organization, but I don't think there's actually anything to declutter. Okay, moving right along. I also really enjoy having a decluttering zone or a decluttering basket or bin, some sort of designated area where I am constantly putting things as I come across them throughout my day. For me, this is in my laundry room. I will put things down here that, that I know need to be donated. I will also put things in here and leave them for a while, maybe a month, maybe two months. That way, if I'm unsure about an item, if I put it here and I end up not using it in that time frame, I know it's not something that I really need. I can go ahead and donate it. The only things I found in the kitchen to declutter out are these two jars I have no use for, as well as this Tupperware, a knife that we don't need, and then these snowflake cookie cutters I'm going to add to our Christmas decor. Well, we are now entering the danger zone, also known as my laundry room. This needs some major decluttering. I'm not even gonna talk long about it. I'm just gonna get started. It needs so much help. last tip that I have for you is the one in one out rule. This is something I really, really try to maintain. Essentially, the idea is that as you purchase something, you get rid of something else. Now, this doesn't literally mean every purchase. Obviously, if I buy groceries or something that we need that is new, I'm not going to just find something random to get rid of. For me, the idea is more if I'm kind of upgrading something or replacing an item, I have to get rid of an item. So for example, we recently got a new tablecloth that I really enjoy because it is wipeable. Definitely really nice for having a baby who is really messy now that he's eating a lot. And so our old tablecloth that had seen better days for sure, I am happy to donate. I don't need it anymore. It's just taking up room in my pantry and so I'm going to pass it along. I find that this practice really helps things from piling up and also helps to just be mindful of the items that I do own. These are dishes we no longer use. I actually thrifted some recently that we use um, all the time. And so we don't need these ones, so I'm going to donate those. Also, I have these old frames that I'm going to donate. A tablecloth, a pot, another planter, um, and some decor items, just some things that we don't use anymore. A Christmas sweater. So still not perfectly organized, but it's definitely a lot better. I just have some decor items. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep, but I'm just putting them there for now. We have my printer. That's all cleaned up. And then again, not like super organized, but the main thing was just to declutter and we definitely did. So I'm proud of the progress we're making. Over here in this corner is where I have all of my art supplies and I have been taking some product photos so it's a little bit of a mess right now. I'm just going to go through and see if there's any tools and supplies that I can declutter out. Wow, 
I'm over here in my art corner studio, I do want to show you my new flashcards that are now available to purchase today. These number of flashcards I've been working on for the past few months and I'm so pleased with how they turned out. Each card features a hand illustrated watercolored painting along with the number in numeral form and also word form. And something special about this flashcard set is it actually has numbers one all the way to 20. I haven't really seen this very often. I actually had a couple of mom friends share that it's hard to find flashcard sets that go from one to 20. Usually it's just one to 10. So I wanted to make sure that this flashcard set was very useful and practical. So it does feature numbers all the way to 20. I did also put these illustrations into a print form. So I have a few options available there is a set of two prints so one is 1 to 10 and then the other one is 11 through 20 you can also just purchase the 1 through 10 print and then I also have a print with all of the numbers 1 through 20 on it these are all available in my shop now I will leave the link down in the description box for you to check it out and if you use the code numbers at checkout you will receive 10% off any of my flashcard sets or the number print I only have five coupon codes available, so whoever the first five people are will receive that offer. Thank you so much for joining me today for this video. I really hope it was inspiring and motivating for you. Don't forget to let me know in the comments what your tips for decluttering are. I would love to hear those. And also be sure to use my code to save on my art products that released today. I'm feeling pretty accomplished. I feel like I got a lot done. Of course, there's always more that could be done, but truthfully, this is just the time that I had for today and I'm glad with what we accomplished. So thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.